Everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life. Oh my gosh, I hope you're having the best day ever. You guys, I am working really hard to get videos filmed for you and all that kind of stuff so that you will um, have some regular content to watch and um, there are a bunch of new videos hopefully that you haven't seen. The reason I know you haven't seen them is because hardly anybody's watched them. So there's some good stuff back there in the archives. Um, from the last like couple weeks, so check that out as well. But I have my July favorite, so it's a glitter report, which I know you guys love. I've been slacking big time on those, but I have some incredible stuff that I've been using all month that I'm just obsessed with. Um, we'll start out with my favorite foundation combination for the month has definitely been the Naked Urban Decay and the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. These two mixed together with a beauty blender. Um, is how I've been getting this real flawless face that you've seen. Sorry, I just did a contouring video and so I've got like a wicked contour going um, and a whole bunch of blush. And I'm about to show you what this blush is because all of you guys have been asking. So anyway, this has been my like go-to like all month long because I'm really trying to use this up. So I'm actually making progress, which is exciting. Um, I have been setting my face just about every day this month with the Ben Nye Banana setting powder. This is like a staple. This is in every pro makeup artist kit that I've ever met. Everybody has the Ben Nye setting powder and banana is great. It's really universal. I can use it on a lot of different skin types. And it just gives like such a smooth finish. I just think it's gorgeous. Um, I've been loving the City Cosmetics Pore Minimizing Primer. You saw me do a review uh, recently on this product. Don't forget too that they're offering 30% off for you guys just as a thank you. Not because I get anything, but I just would recommend trying this because it's a really gorgeous primer. I'm actually going to get another one of these so I have one at home and then one in my kit because this is going to be the perfect primer for brides because your makeup is not going anywhere with that primer. Love it. I just love it so much. Um, another primer that I've been using really regularly is the Cover FX Anti-Aging Eye Smoothing. Anti another primer that I've been using a ton is the Cover FX Anti-Aging Smoothing Eye Primer. This is one of the best eye primers that I've found recently and I've been doing a lot of like just really simple looks with like pencils or um, you know kind of like things like the NARS uh, soft touch shadow pencils and you need sort of like a really flexible um, primer for these to be able to move around with uh, to blend them out and I feel like this is a really nice flexible eye primer. Uh, it doesn't have a color so it doesn't give you any base color it's just going to give your eye makeup something to really adhere to and keep it from creasing. This is Ear Cologne. This is the Soft Touch Shadow Pencil from NARS. This is like my go-to. I just wear it so much and um, they just took down the summer collection because fall launched um, at the Melrose store and they might have a couple of these still hanging around if you haven't picked this up yet. They're about to all get shipped back, but I'll put the NARS information down below and you can order this. It's the most beautiful taupe and it has like a rose gold undertone to it and I just can't stop wearing it. Um, something else that I can't stop wearing is the MAC of Aphrodite Shell. I think, has this been it? It's the extra dimensional bronzer. I put this all over my face. I think it's so pretty. This might be, have been in my favorites. Every favorites that I've done since I bought this, this might have been in it. So I just can't stop using it. Um, a new product to me is the Amazing Cosmetics um, blush. And this is the matte pink chocolate. And it is the cutest blush ever. It's a perfect like everyday blush. It's really pretty. Um, I believe you can get Amazing Cosmetics at Ulta, so um, this was one of the things that I got in my swap with Chelsea. Uh, some of the lips that I'm loving, kind of sexy, um, from, how about this, oh here we go. One of the lips that I've been loving this month is kind of sexy from MAC. Um, it's really pretty. I also got this in my swap. This had been on my MAC wish list for a long time. Um, and. The Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie. This has been on my lips in a lot of my videos recently that you guys have been ask, asking about. And this color is Stunner. And I got this from the Bare Minerals booth at Gen Beauty. We waited in line for like an hour and a half to get this free lip gloss. Would I do it again? No. Would I go to Sephora and buy this? Yes. Uh, the thing that's on my lips today and that I wear a ton of is the NARS um, Velvet Matte Pencil in Dolce Vita. I think it's so beautiful. I swatched this not too long ago. It's actually what's on my nails too. This is the limited edition Dolce Vita nail polish. Um, and I just think this is so beautiful. And these are on sale. These these lip and nail sets are on sale at NARS. Uh, NARS Melrose has these in stock. They come with that great box. I did a whole video on them recently. 
and so that's back this way um, if you haven't seen that uh, my lip my favorite okay so the thing that I've been obsessing over on my cheeks this month is from my MAC palette and it is Dame and Pink Swoon layered together put starting with Dame and then adding Pink Swoon gets you this delicious little cheek and um, I also have the NARS contour blush on in Paloma which is sort of my like staple as well so just a cute like fun like bright it looks a little bit dark right now because of this contour blush but it's usually a little bit brighter um, and just really fun I love it I just kind of made it a little bit dramatic since I was wearing Dolce Vita and then I mean eyes I've just been kind of lazy whenever I'm lazy with my eyeshadow I'd go right to my Mac neutrals palette um, this thing I can't even tell you how many times I reach for this a week honestly I'm not gonna lie you guys I feel like I've cultivated the most incredible neutrals palette that's ever been in existence so if you're curious about what this is and you want to know what's in here let me know by thumbs up in this video and leaving a comment that you want to see my Mac neutrals palette um, because I'll swatch all these and tell you what they are oh, I always drop things um, but I'll swatch all these and tell you what they are if you want to see it so let me know um, I just got some makeup geek shadows I think I'm gonna swatch those as well um, and everybody seems to like those more than Mac I don't know I don't know I've worn them a couple times and uh, I keep still reaching for this so you guys those are my July favorites happy glitter happy glitter July to you um, I wish I could like shoot a glitter cannon off in the background right now every time I do a glitter report but you guys I hope that you have the best month ever. I know I sure did. I know it's really hot here in LA and hopefully wherever you are, you're finding a way to stay cool and using sunscreen. You guys have an awesome day. See you later.